I haven't seen the movie myself, but a number of my friends and some of my siblings have. It's the movie The Wolf of Wall Street. As a matter of fact, I know some of them walked out on the film, but the title, The Wolf of Wall Street, and its subject matter fascinates me. I'm told the movie is a celebration of, of violence and of greed, of power and aggression, of sexuality and drugs and alcohol. By contrast to The Wolf of Wall Street, we have the babe of Bethlehem. God become man, not insisting on the privileges of divinity, not flaunting his power, but becoming a little child, becoming one of us, born in a backwater town, Bethlehem, and nestled in a manger, warmed by the animal's breath, adored by shepherds. This is the pattern of our faith, not the, the sheer assertion of aggression and power and violence, but Jesus taking the violence of the world, taking the sins of the world upon his own shoulders, and by submitting to that, ironically triumphing over sin and death. You know, I thought too when I heard about this title, The Wolf of Wall Street, what Brother Wolf might have thought of this? Now, now Brother Wolf was the wolf of legend befriended by St. Francis of Assisi. And I suspect Brother Wolf would be momentarily dismayed by the lupine metaphor. But in the long run, he'd smile, and he'd know that even the wolf of Wall Street will one day be tamed by the babe of Bethlehem. This is our Christmas joy, that the real power of the world lies in this babe who became a man for the salvation of all. Arguably, there has been no one who has changed the course of history and who is in, all, in his own subtle way has exercised more power than the babe of Bethlehem.